So before starting this session, just let me introduce myself. So myself, uh, Raj Shekhar, I have 12 plus years of experience in uh, IT industry. Not only the trainings, I'm the real time, uh, real time uh, working in a real time. So now we will start today. We will discuss one thing that is on name of Android. So what is Android? So if anyone know about this Android, what is Android? So first we will concentrate what is the definition of the Android. But before uh, from my side, just tell me what you know about this Android. Anything you mobile. Android? It's a mobile OS. Okay, it is operating system. Right. Any other thing? Android is a mobile operating system. Mm -hmm. And uh, Android is the one of the technology in mobile application, mobile apps development. Exactly. So it is uh, development environment. Next. So, so open source. Just you can go on with some disturbance is coming. So it is open source. Next, it is the last one word I'll tell you that is the Linux kernel. So these four words will define the definition of the Android. So Android is an operating system and uh, using this we can develop the applications. It is open source and always the Android can run on the top of the Linux kernel. So this Linux kernel is nothing but this Android operating system. What is the operating system? It is uh, developed on the top of the Linux environment. So in internal in architecture, the Linux kernel is the one of the layer. So this operating system always run on the top of that particular layer. So that we can say has the first level of security for our Android application. So but how that has providing the security and the things that we will discuss in detail in our coming sessions while discussing about the Android architecture. Right, but today just I am concentrating the definition of the Android here. So simple, just you can remember only these four words. That is, Android is an operating system. Using this, we can build an uh, apps, or we can say Android is an uh, development environment. It is an open source, and it runs always on the top of the Linux kernel. Right now. We will see each word in detail here, right? So this is the word. So what operating system? What is an operating system? So operating system is nothing but in a simple words. So that is the bridge between bridge between the hardware and the software, hardware and software. So how this is the bridge between hardware and software? See right now, whatever the session you are seeing, that is also you are seeing in one operating system. Like maybe you are logged in your laptop windows. Someone is in a Mac, someone is in a Linux. So Windows is one operating system. Mac is one operating system and Linux is one operating system. So on the operating system, see here, we you are able to see my screen and you are able to listen my voice also means here how you are listening my voice through speaker or the bluetooth whatever that is that is hardware right to reach that hardware what is my voice the software is helping for this means the operating system will combine the two things that is a uh, operating system means hardware and software then it will give the common output. So that is the this 
that operating system is operating system is nothing but the bridge between this and here this android is also operating system initially it was only for the mobile but now this has for many things like mobile tab tv watch car like lot of other electronic gadgets nowadays it is coming etc like many things it is coming that is as a operating system right so mainly uh, we are using most of the things in a mobile tv nowadays most of the people are using and also watch also we are using in a cars also it is now uh, completely the recent versions are coming with the complete and previously it is like uh, some other also coming but recently it is coming with the majorly with this android only right then next development environment so this is very important for us because this course also will define the development environment so here we are developing the applications so how we are developing the applications we are using some specific technologies we are developing this so android development can be done by java or kotlin so you can use two languages kotlin or this and for the designing we will use the this for design we will use xml xml is nothing but it's a extensible markup language so like it is similar as html like how we are designing the html pages web pages like similar here our android ui we will design using xml that is a extensible markup language so that uh, html is nothing but it's a hypertext markup language so both are almost the similar both are we use for the designing of the user interfaces right right next here so java and kotlin but here our course is specifically we are going with the kotlin let i'll uh, after a few minutes i'll explain you what are the benefits with the kotlin why we are going with the kotlin i'll explain you here next open source so this open source word i want to specify in various directions like first of all before uh, going with the directions first we try to understand what is open source open source means it's a freely available right freely available without paying anything this is available like how what is open source like whatever we are feeling the air like that is completely open source now because we are not paying anything to the air directly we are feeling that air, right so this is open source. like here it is a open source but this i want to justify in total three ways here so the first way which is as a developer so if i am a developer i am getting the development environment has free so whatever the development environment dev environment it's a completely the free of cost no need to pay anything for the development environment just you can download the development environment you can install the development environment on your system and you can get the things lot of supporting files everything you can get the with free of cost right that is the first one then second one as a manufacturer like mobile manufacturer tv manufacturer watch manufacturer anything like redmi samsung vivo so like these people so for those people <coughs> operating system is free even if you want to do some manufacturing for you also operating system is free but how what they will do with the operating system means on the top of the operating system they are customizing that whatever as it is it is coming like say for example today i installed windows in my laptop so you also installed windows in your laptop but my laptop is the lenovo your laptop is the dell but both are looking the same 
it is not a difference but in a mobile i buy one mobile that is a uh, android 13 8 gb ram and 256 hard disk or 128 hard disk whatever the configuration that one configuration i buy it in samsung okay someone from you same day you buy it whatever the hardware configuration whatever the software configuration both same as it is same but you buy that in a vivo i buy it and samsung you buy it in a vivo then looking wise both should be different and what is the launching apps also different launcher apps means default apps also different because as a samsung e customized as a vivo e customized as per is required to attract the user every manufacturer has customizing their requirements so that is the this so that is the here for the manufacturers easily they can customize the operating system that is for them it is a benefit right then next last one more so end users we all are the end users so for the end users what is the benefit for the end users so almost 99 percent of the apps we are getting as a free of cost we are not paying anything for the apps whatever the apps we are using so that we are completely we are getting the free right so this is and this linux kernel just what i told this this is a linux based operating system so it uh, one security layer has created with the name of linux kernel so that android will run on the top of that app uh, apart from that i'm not going deeply anything on this today while discussing about the architecture of the android we will see actual what happens there so that is this so this is the definition of the android and how this uh, each word elaboration this is. right i think this is clear for everyone right you have any questions on this or it is clear so if you have any questions <coughs> you can uh, unmute yourself and ask otherwise you can send uh, in a chat i'll uh, clarify your questions okay uh, sir sir one question so uh, xml we are using xml as design right so like another word i heard like jetpack compose what is that is there any difference here? so <coughs> xml is a <coughs> now it is a very uh, like the when android has introduced from there onwards we are using the xml right so <coughs> like this jetpack library is the like advanced thing like not only the jetpack similar jetpack we have the other material design so whatever the jetpack or material that we will use in under xml so uh, like uh, i don't know your background Pawan. Uh, like you know anything about the web development uh, i am from <clears throat> mobile qa automation so uh, so little bit knowledge on web development yeah, web development means you know html and angular yeah yeah so initially whatever the ui we are designing completely we are designing in a html right now what we are doing in between of the html some we are writing that code with the angular in in between of the html only we are writing the angular code right to make an uh, uh, speed and uh, advanced technology like this similar here in the top of the XML only, we are using the Jetpack libraries to and, uh, make this. That is. So that's okay, got it. Top of the XML means uh, you are saying initially XML is the design part, right? Yes, XML is the designing part. Uh, top of the XML means without using XML. Huh? Yeah, that, that uh, both things we can write. Dynamically, we can create the music with the jetpack. Dynamically, without using XML, you can able to create a designer. Without using XML, we can write the 
Just like if you put the dog in front of the leg, and then you put the parent on the other side of the leg, it's very nice. Jetpack, uh, are you cover uh, that jetpack also now uh, in this uh, course? Yeah, so uh, as of now, it depends on uh, some of the packages, like some of the packages. On that packages, I not covered that. So something like uh, some people will uh, have advanced to like already they have uh, some knowledge on the basic things. So if they want, they can understand that advanced level. So that I am explaining in some batches. That depends on the batch. I am deciding that. Hello, sir. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah sir. Java. Yeah, Java and Kotlin. Which language is very best for this Android development? Why? Because Java. Somebody has spoken to me. In Java is uh, in many years to still now also using Java. Kotlin is uh, newly entered. Once uh, Java we are learn, Kotlin is very easy to uh, to develop the Android app. It's true. True. It's true. Sir. Yes, exactly. It's true. So that why, but why we are using that uh, Kotlin? I'm coming into that. Kotlin. In okay. So actually, I am also new because why? Because I have some doubt in Java, in Java, in Kotlin. That's why I asked in this one. Yeah, no, no worry, no worry. In uh, uh, three to five minutes, I will come to that particular topic only next. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. Carry on. Before that, I have a question for you people. So why you are learning this course? Is there any specific reason for the specific people? Because yeah, I have a lot of people will come with the different reasons. So tell me what is your reason, Akbar? Yeah, I my own build you can you can able to build the build the app that is a transport app like. Next, any other people? You need to build application in both Android and iOS. Both. Okay. And why? You are already working in iOS? No, no, no. Okay. Build. 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 That is either Android or iOS. Okay. It is possible uh, this Kotlin uh, able to develop uh, Android and iOS? No, no, not possible. How to uh, possible in which language is possible to create uh, Android and iOS? Flutter. Flutter. Hmm? Flutter. Flutter. Clutter. 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 Sir, clutter is not possible. Web development as well as Android development, right, sir? Yeah, web web we can do with my Right. So now instead even now I'm coming with the actual things what happens. Like for example, uh so when I asked people like in every batch like many people will say that i came for job so some people will say okay job so if i'm saying this if you came only for job why this why not other like if you learn python if you learn java if you learn dotnet if you learn php if you learn angular any language you can learn definitely will get a job maybe some days uh, means you will get uh, some early some late like little bit uh, gap is there but definitely will get the job if you learn specific technology well and good. but here in this particular technology i'll show apart from the job i'll show few benefits extra benefits for you people like you can create your own applications you can create your own applications right 
So what is the benefit if you can create your own application? So if you can create your own application, right, Akbar, you are saying something? Yeah, we want to uh, don't depend upon other person. Why? Because I am also st I am start newly started one business like a travel business. It will be very helpful. Very very help for me. That's so that is uh, if you have specific business kind of thing. If you develop that application, you can do yourself. So there you are safe. And yeah and another one of a freelancer website through we are earning money also sir yeah, yeah that is that that, that next time coming here yeah. you can uh, get one thing is uh, if your own business you have like in your case in your case you have one thing then you can uh, uh, saving the development cost whatever the development cost you are saving that and apart from Absolutely, this, sir. Here you can earn the money from the ads. So like whatever the app you created on the app, you have the uh, like ads. So through ads, you can earn some amount like how to enable the ads kind of thing. Uh, we will end up the, this course we will discuss. But for example, my application is Play Store. It is installed by 10,000 members. OK, so how much I can earn this? So if 10,000 members are installed every day, 10,000 members are using my application. Obviously, I say no. 50%. No. 30%. Either 20%. Yeah, maybe there is chance, but I can go with the forest 10%. Okay, 10% of if 10% of people at least they will use in between five to 10 minutes for every day your application. Easily can earn the 100 to 150 dollars. 150 100 to 150 that means approximately in our currency is a in between of 8 to 12k 8 to 12k easily we can earn. so if the users are using like that like this is not only for one month how many days our application is growing 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 that many days means if you give the better unique application good with good features definitely we have a scope to earn the amount from the lot of applications right so that we can go with the uh, step by step with uh, this kind of things. Like for example, I show some applications. See, uh, I'll open Play Store. So in a Play Store, even you can also try like the uh, prank. So the word called prank apps. Nothing is app does not contain any functionality. So prank call. So this is a prank call. Prank call and chart application. So this is fake call prank. See, I'll open one this. So this is the app I'm opening. See, as a developer is saying prank, but one plus millions. See, this is simply alarm functionality. So what he done is, he set alarm at 1 p.m. with some uh, image, some name like this, and 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Like he can set some multiple alarms. So at the particular time, it will come as an alarm so that just it is a uh, time pass. Nothing, nothing is there. But still, 10 like people are using this application. So like this, nowadays, the many applications like this are with small small application the people are earning the amounts like that if you can develop this application but here maybe you can ask one question if i develop application can users install my application or not so i say directly no because yeah. can you repeat again if I upload, I, I have developed some application, I upload in the place to so okay. can install my application or not? Uh, maybe that one is useful, uh, user can able to install, otherwise it's not installed. But here I am saying like for example, directly I am, uh, I got your, randomly I got your number, okay? I sent mm. one uh, in 
WhatsApp or some normal message. They install this application. Like that. So okay. you remember that application will come from the unknown contact. Never you show interest on to that application. Right. But if the but even you can try even if it is a unknown contact also if that application has satisfy these features like see some of the features like first of all, first of all it's a useful useful application useful next is the uh, user friendly means uh, without uh, user developer guidelines you have to understand the application flow is a friendly useful and lightweight lightweight the next is the speed main thing this is the secure then there is a chance you can install the application right means whenever you are developing any application you how to upload in a play store just you need to take care about these are the small things so that uh, definitely there is a chance. I am saying that I am saying 100% of chance. But the people will show interest to develop this. Uh, means you can they can download your application in some of the cases. Like so, slowly initially this is the problem. But once like 10,000, 20,000 people will came into your application, automatically it can be solved. Means but first they will see. How many users are downloaded? Okay, 20, 20k, 20k means okay. Something is there in application. Then definitely the people will install next initial stages. They will think about this. Like for example, I developed one tutorial application. Just it is a theoretical tutorial on this application. But once you install, I'm asking that allow contacts permission allow camera permission allow gallery permission is this is a genuine application no because to read the tutorial why you need my contacts permission if in case your application has the social media you are asking the contacts permission it is okay but tutorial it's not required so like that you need to keep those things on a brain while you are developing the application. Then we can expect download for the application, right? So this is like you can, if you can upload your application, you will get this. And apart from this, you can work as a freelancer here. Why freelancer here? Why not other technology? Here, lot of applications are small, small applications. So in a Play Store, there are uh, billions of applications are available, but all are the applications are not uploaded by the developers. Like I want to, I have, I want to develop some applications, but I don't know the Android. Then I approached one company, XYZ company. They said that to develop the small application, they are they want they will charge one lakh. So then I can go some of the freelancers like uh, who are working on Android, I approached that particular person. He said that, okay, I can do this in 30,000. So there is a huge difference between the freelancer and the company. So obviously the small, small applications, people will prefer the freelancers. So then you will get a chance here to earn, this is a one more income for this, right? This, apart from the job, this course has benefiting extra two more benefits for you right apart from this next next now so this is about the introduction of this now i am coming back to our course java code so this we are developing with the two technologies one is with java other is with code but which one is the preferable nowadays so previously uh, from when i started my career that time onwards we are working on java like from 2011 onwards completely we are working on 
Java platform only. But last recent three years, from the 2020 ending like that, we are almost, if any new project has came, that we are starting with the Kotlin. Why? Because if I want to write particular functionality in Java, that has, like, let us say that syntax total, in total lines of the code is 50. Same, I want to write in a Kotlin that can be reduced to in between of 30 to 35 lines, means approximately 20 to 30 percent of the coding has reducing. Like, uh, if any specific uh, class or function I'm defining. So if any written type, like simple, simple example, if all, are, all you people know, if else, I'm writing the if else, simple if else syntax. If condition equal to true or false, in case of it is a Boolean, I'm checking the true or false. But in Kotlin, if I want to write if, whatever the Boolean value it is coming like X, Y, Z. If I put the X, Y, Z defaultly, that will take true case. No need to write equal to true like that kind of lot of flexibilities it is created in the Kotlin. Also, one more major benefit, it avoids the complete exceptions. It does not have any exceptions. Means while declaring or while initializing the components or that time itself, it is avoiding the complete exception. Means it is the completely the null set language so it is completely the null safety language means there is no means in java we supposed to handle many exceptions so like sometimes we don't know the exception then uh, while uh, checking your application while install install while running your application then you can go on console you can check so because of this exception, okay, it is closed, it is crashed. Then you can go and you can upload the exception. Then you can, sorry, you can update the exception and you can run again and you can check like. But here, internal itself it can handle. So no need to write any exceptional cases here. This is completely exceptional as not there. Also, recently the Java has uh, completely previously it was the free but slowly it is becoming an enterprise version. Slowly it is like once uh, recently, like uh, 2017 or 18 time, Java has, uh, sorry, Oracle has purchased Java. From there onwards, slowly it is giving the enterprise versions. So from that time onwards, slowly the Kotlin market has started. So it is, uh, most of the people like even in a uh, top MNC is also nowadays the people are preferring the Kotlin only in every new project everyone are writing the Kotlin so that is the main reason we are preferring here now this is in the Kotlin right so however your questions are clear or you have any questions on that means here a lot of differences are there but I don't want to cover now while going one by one one by one on the, on the go, I'll explain you the cases of that. Yeah, clear, sir. Okay. So then now, so this, whatever the course here we are doing, that is the native Android development. Native Android development. It means here normally in the mobile application, here we have one is the native other is the class. Native means this can be suitable for one environment. One environment. So here, either using Java or Kotlin, if I write here, that is suitable only for Android. Class platform means, like here, currently both, like Android and I was previous, it was in Windows also, but now this is Android and the iOS. So this. So for this now, like here, uh, Android is the one that is either Kotlin or Java and iOS, that iOS, iOS is using the Swift that we will do. 
but here for this it is the flutter so cross platform is the flutter react so react js react means react js then next uh, in that net uh, there is a uh, one more uh, that this is not a uh, titanium studio is there titanium studio also we can do this titanium studio xamarin this xamarin is the dot net one so xamarin you can do like this many as there like many is there but nowadays the trending is in the flutter because this flutter is also introduced by this google itself so the flutter is the mostly but then uh, sorry then if it is already flutter is uh, by google then why can't you go with the native developer why can't go crash platform? So if I go to the crash platform, it can support majority of the functionality sometimes. For example, I want to write the payment gateway code. Payment gateway code. So the payment gateway code related some in the some of the functionalities Flutter is not supporting. Like initially, when Flutter has introduced in 2020-21 that time, we developed one application for one of the client. He said that the Flutter we can go with like in a company level itself because we don't have that time full knowledge on a Flutter, but we started developing that. After that, when we enter into the advanced like payment gateway and the other third party integration, a lot of third party integrations are there on that application. There we struggled with because the code is not uploaded then that completely we migrated to the native environment some of them like payment gateway it is supporting like in where it is supporting but what should i do in the, instead of writing the flutter code i have to write native android native ios code there like you can select the device type android okay you can go with this code if it is a native type ios you can go like this. means if you want to become a cross platform developer you should have knowledge on the native Android development and native iOS development, then only you can become a class platform developer. Right. That is this. So here we are developing this is the I means here we are our course is to that is a native Android development. But how many types of developments are there in Android? So in a, this Android, so there are a, three different uh, uh, development is there. One is the app development app development game development game next is the OS level operating system level. so but whatever we are covering this is this this course is the app development so game development is a different environment again that uh, OS level is only OS level should be available in uh, manufacturers so game level means using this whatever the development uh, app development we are doing Using that, we can build a small kind of games, but very huge kind of games. It is completely different. That for that uh, little bit, uh, complete different environment should be there. That will come most of the case. Like we will use the Java applets kind of thing that we can develop the this. Even that also nowadays uh, developing in the Kotlin, right? So that is this. So this is our this. But so what is our course duration? So our course duration is the 45 days. So in this 45 days, what we supposed to write? So now this course is going with the Android version 14 because the latest version is the 14. This just it is introduced in the last one month back in October 4th, October 4th, the Android 14 uh, has released. So with that only we are covering our course like in this. So what are the benefits for you people? So benefits. So I'll come with the detail, uh, uh, means detail what course content in next class. So just I'm giving the overall the features. First of all, you will get the recording of each session. So if you miss that, you can get the recording of each, means even you regularly will get the recording of the each session. Then I'll share one PDF. 
this pdf will contain the theoretical as also some example programs are available so the next so whatever the topic here we are discussing that each and every line of the code i'll write in front of you people means i don't like i create a project and copy paste the existing code just i'm explaining line by line not like that whatever this thing i am writing that each and every line by line i am explain in term, in front of you people like this is the meaning of this this is the meaning of this so this is i am writing like this in case if this is uh, important for the interview point of view how can you answer on an interview point of view so that the way i can go in each and every topic by topic right and also whatever the programs we are discussing so the 40% of the programs is common for all the batches 40% is programs are common remaining 60% of the programs it is variable like last batch i have done like a topic let us say payment gateway related payment gateway related uh, whatever the program uh, that time i touch program should come in my brain i'll explain that program and in next batch the payment gateway related program it is i'll explain in different way because multiple people will write in the multiple scenarios multiple uh, variant course so means i what is the meaning of that means i don't have any fixed programs like uh, limited programs whatever i am um, particular topic on the topic what program that okay you can write on the go i can write the code itself like that i'll explain in detail of that each and every this right so that is like uh, interview point of questions interview questions i'll explain interview questions and uh, one more major this project will this course cover project every student will ask this question in every batch but simply i'm saying here i'm saying yes also i'm saying no why because here i want to justify this in two ways means here we will do project but not complete project means here i'll explain you the project scenarios how that will like here uh, when we enter into the advanced topic web services if anyone has the knowledge like maybe you know little bit about the web services like means whatever the data i'm collecting from the user i can insert the data into the database and i can retrieve the data from the database like those a real time exam we'll discuss with the real time example data real database we can interact with the real database so when we are interacting with the real database that whatever the programs like registration login after login user specific data session management and in case the uh, in between network internet is not there how to handle so these kind of combined all that together like uh, multiple 10 to 12 different kinds of programs i can create in a single project single application so there it will define project structure like how i'm writing in a real time project structure that i'll explain in detail there so from there onwards you can elaborate the project structure as for you with this means that with that 12 13 programs together different combined that will define the project like that kind of the project that's the reason i'm saying this is not 100 project not zero project it should be the project structure you will get the real time scope of that particular project so in this way our course will go it's a every day our session should be one hour session like initially maybe for like uh initial few days three to four days maybe we can uh, spend a little bit lesser time not uh, one hour because people will come and jump like that which happens so once exactly the batch has confirmed exactly we'll start the session at nine to ten 
So, but initial days we can start maybe five to ten minutes in between of the five to ten minutes late, and uh, we will close a little bit early also. So now, is it clear? Or if have any questions? Ah, uh, sir. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sir, game developer, game development course also is separate, and voice yeah, it, uh, are you? Yeah, it is separate. Mm -hmm. This is complete. Sir, once uh, in 45 days, after five, uh, 45 days, I want to build my own app. It will be mm -hmm. made possible or without possible because already also spoken the uh, project also you are not confirmed yet. So why because I'm so hard. Yeah, project <laughs> means are not confirmed means here I'm saying I'm explaining the project structure. Which Means within uh, these 45 days, we cannot do complete project, right? So I will give you the complete scope of the project. Like this way, the project will go. From there, you can elaborate. So means that is possible if you follow my daily instructions. Because every end of the session, I'll give some task. So if you follow those tasks, definitely you can uh, get the project. One also, more thing, sir. Answer. Yeah. And I'm also new in this Kotlin uh, programming language because I don't know what is that in Kotlin language. In, in before also I'm not a user yet word also. My last one week to my friend has suggested me Kotlin is very best uh, for nine days. That's why I'm searching in Google. Uh, unfortunately, when uh, this institute uh, number is uh give for my given for my friend immediately uh, to, uh, to today called no worries, no i i understood your concern but this xml and kotlin both uh for you people it is completely the new so that reason i can start from the scratch everything i can start from the scratch i'll explain step by step clearly Excuse me, sir. Sir, what, sir, what is the basics is there in uh, Kotlin, sir? Like uh, any programming, like uh, pro, are you speaking 30 percent or 40 percent, 20 to 30 percent uh, programming code is lesser than Java to Kotlin? In lesser in Kotlin is the uh, sorry spoken in Java language, lot of uh, program programs is there. But uh, we can't uh, you spoken it also. What is the if if classes like that classes is there in Java like in Kotlin also that types of uh, programs is there, sir? Yes, everything, whatever the features, whatever the uh, class method, oops, uh, and uh, thread serialization, everything is there in a Kotlin. Right, topics wise, it is mm -hmm. not lesser like lines of code is reduced here because some of them as auto generated that can be handled in I means simply you can say the shortcuts shortcut of the course it means mm -hmm. java and Kotlin is same but coding coding lesser in Kotlin. These two words, instead of writing the implementation, implements, here I can write with the colon. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Ritesh. Uh, sir, uh, you have told that we have to make make the android app in the linux system sir linux environment so can we able to do in our windows sir oh uh, no no what you can do in linux that is the operating system that is the operating system operating system that is the operating system on the linux means if you are a operating system developer that can be happen in a linux but this development you can do in windows linux mac also because my system is Mac, I'm running on the Mac only. Okay, sir. So we can app development can done in Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux also, sir. Correct, correct. Okay, sir. Hello. Yes. 
हेलो सर प्रोजेक्ट उच्च पैटर्न में और एक्सप्लेन प्रोजेक्ट उच्च डिजाइन पैटर्न में और पालोड इन एक्सप्लेनेशन टाइप हेलो इन दिस कोर्स एम एक्चुअली अरे हेलो प्लीज अनम्यूट व्हेन यू आर नॉट आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन प्लीज अनम्यूट प्लीज अनम्यूट व्हेन यू आर नॉट आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन yeah say nag nagmaleshwar just uh, for your query even uh, in uh, still of my 12 years of career so in mvvm i done only one or two projects remaining all the projects are done in the mvc only because people mostly prefer in the mvc only so we are going with mvc only actually i am searching in uh, google currently in uh, mobile application implementation एम सी एम 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 पी एम वि ई करेली मोस्ट आफ दीपल यूजिंग एम पी एम वि ई बट यू आर सेंग एम सी just you can inquire properly fact not a google search just you can ask them what the structure they are using so because i developed it till no more than maybe that application actually your experience person right sir that one maybe initially started uh, mec i think uh, so that's reason it continue in mec so if you go basic like uh, basic application like the freelancer kind of thing if you do that people will have, don't have any specifications but if you go with the top level clients they will they have some preferences right we can go with that for the client preference only sir one question is there sir yeah. if we complete the uh, we complete this standard development course app development uh, uh, do you help in our placement also sir placement wise means uh, like here what i am saying now uh, i am giving the interview point of question so like uh, if you any uh, like uh, interviews are going on me in my known contacts i say it because lot of uh, my students are working in a different places even in my company uh, what are the android developers all the android developers are my students only like i can refer the people like uh, if you have any requirement that is <laughs> hello sir after completion of this course i want any help you will give support for me sir yeah definitely that i will give no problem on that yeah hope was your queries are clear or you have any questions Okay. Yes, sir. So then uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow 9 p.m. again. Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks.